Hello everyone. Today's episode is a question of lag. What is better? This repeat command block that activates 20 times per second, or this hopper clock which activates once per second, but has block updates? Well, let's find out. So I've constructed a test to see which is more laggy. So let's run both at the same time and then stop when the timer reaches a certain number. Let's say for this instance we'll go 100 and then we'll stop it. And it appears that, oh, okay, we're still going. It's very, very laggy because I have thousands of command blocks running at once and the timer is about to stop. All right, let's just stop it right here. So as you can see, the repeat command blocks are actually a lot less reliable than the hopper ones but you're probably thinking to yourself, that's not really fair, you're running both at the same time. Alright, let's try again. Okay, just to elaborate a bit on what's going on, this command block is adding a repeat score of test 1, and then the next command block removes it, and so it loses stuff over time. And then this one adds 20, and this one removes 20, just so the clocks are in sync. And then we have this one, which is a timer going up once every 20 seconds, I mean once every 20th of a second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run one of these clocks at a time and I'm going to time a stopwatch for 20 seconds. So let's get this set up. Now I'm going to press the repeat one now. Alright, so we've started the timer and after 20 seconds I will stop the timer. So I'm going to do one of these on camera just so you can time it for yourself and then I'm going to do two more and then I'm going to average my results off camera and show you the results afterwards. So we're on 17 seconds and 20. There we go. So you can see that the timer score says 116 out of a possible 400. Now we want this number to be as high as we can possibly get. So now it's time to repeat the test with our hopper clock. Now I'm going to tell you already the hopper one is much faster, but just so you can see it on camera, I am going to do that for you. Alright, so it's started and let's get ready to press this button as quickly as we can. Now, it doesn't actually have to be exactly 20 seconds because you can see 10 seconds in, it is already better, as you can see. And it's not losing any time. So this is on a large scale, remember? And we're on 17 seconds, 18, 19, 20, bam. So 344 out of a possible 400. So you might think, okay, let's conclude now that hopper clocks are better than repeat ones. But the problem is the track output for all of these is turned on. So I'm going to repeat the test now with the track output turned off. Okay, so the track output for both of them is set to zero. So let's destroy all these. This is what I use to remove the track output. So none of these are tracking the output. So it should stop the chunks from being loaded. So let's run both of them at the same time and see what happens. Now we're just going to do this again until it reaches, well let's say 50. It looks as if the hopper ones are the same again. Alright, so, oh, okay, so you saw that though. You can see that the repeat ones are more laggy than the hopper ones, but again, that's not fair. So let's do them one at a time. Let's get out our stopwatches. Alright, you can do this with me, and then we will count them in. Alright, go. Alright, so we're moving in. And this is very, very laggy. This is laggier than it was before, which is quite unusual. Um, Alright, 12 seconds has gone, 13, 14, 15. I'm surprised at the lag that's going on here, actually. Alright, we're at 20. And the timer only reached a score of 42. Now, if I see the same thing happen with the um, hopper clock, um, then I will actually have to conclude that maybe putting a track for output on might be a bad thing or maybe I've done something wrong in my testing. But anyway, let's see what happens with our hopper clock. So let's go our hopper clock only, get your timers out, alright, and activate. And again, the button is being pressed down for longer than it should be. So, oh gee, okay. So it's very, very laggy actually, laggier than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot smoother performance, but apparently that is not the case. So who knows, track output might actually be a bad thing. All right, and we've hit 20, and we can now conclude yet again that the hopper is better than the repeat. However, I wouldn't advise turning on the track output. 
Let's try it again without the track output just to, to confirm that that is the issue. All right, so now do the test again with the track output off. Let's start the timer and see what happens. All right, so we're five seconds in and I can see already that it's actually improved since last time. Well, kind of actually, but with the track output on, it seems like it's doing a better job than it was before. Oh, I might have to second guess myself there. All right, so let's stop it there and we have 120, which is a better result than we had before. Let's, um, let's reset everything and try it again with the hopper clocks. All right, so get your stopwatches out everyone and let's run the test. All right, so we're moving in. And it's just as I expect, the hopper clock is a lot better at dealing with things. However, it does seem a, a lot slower than it was before. Let's just find out what the results say at the end. We're 15 seconds in, we're about where we should expect to be. And there we go. That's exactly what we had before. So interestingly, it seems that turning the track output on reduces lag, which doesn't make any sense. Um, th this is actually quite surprising results. Um, so I'd love to hear some discussion in the comments about why this might be happening or what's going on. Um, but yeah, let's move on. So for this final test, it's very difficult to draw a solution or a conclusion. Um, sorry about the lag spikes here. This is a very laggy world for obvious reasons. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on this stress machine, which basically just runs a lot of commands, as you can see. And then I'm going to construct the same test again with the hopper clocks and the repeat clocks. Now I've done this before and you'll see the results are quite interesting. So take a look. All right, so you can see that the timer is actually doing a pretty good job even with this stress machine turned on. Now I made sure that the stress machine actually have more command blocks than there were before. And as you can see, it is actually keeping up all right, the timer and the hopper isn't doing a bad job either. So let's stop it. Um, okay, unusually, last time I did this test, I got 400, so I'm going to turn off fraps and see if the same thing happens. Okay, I did this with fraps um, turned off, and again, I get 208, or near the 200s, where I was, I was expecting 400 like I got in my initial testing. So for the small scale, I'm going to have to say that the results are inconclusive. They actually got a similar result, so just before I say any more, I'm going to reset the clock again and I'm going to see if we get around, around 200 when, with the repeat clock. But I should expect to get 200 because it's very hard to tell at this scale if there's any difference. So let's turn on our stopwatch, timing yet again 20 seconds and we'll see what happens. And we can see we're getting a massive lag spike this time. Alright, we are 10 seconds in and we are a bit behind where we'd expect to be. So again, we can say that the hopper clock is better in this case, as far as lag goes. Alright, let's stop it there, and it's not quite near 200. So for this test, I'm going to have to say the results are inconclusive. So in conclusion, on a large scale like this, we can say that hopper clocks cause less lag than repeat clocks, pretty safely. However, there were some surprising results with the track output where turning the track output off somehow caused more lag, which is very different to what I was expecting and actually challenges whether or not I think this is an accurate test or not. What do you think? Please discuss it in the comments and I will do a follow-up test depending on what you guys say. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.